अजीज तलबा तलबात फरूक फाउंडेशन ऑनलाइन स्कूल के जरिए यकसान साहब के मुताबिक तालीम हासिल करें अगर हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आए तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करें और बेल आइकन को लाजमी दबाएं ताकि आइंदा आने वाली तलीमी वीडियोस आप हासिल कर सकें असलम बच्चों उम्मीद है आप सब खैरियत से होंगे बच्चों ऑनलाइन स्कूल से आप मुकम्मल तालीम हासिल करके बोर्ड का इम्तहान बरए जमात नहम और दहम बेहतर तौर पर पास कर सकते हैं आप अपनी उम्र और तालीम के मुताबिक मजीद तालीम हासिल करें वालदे से फ़ोन या कंप्यूटर पर हमारी वीडियोस के जरिए तालीम हासिल करने की दरख्वास्त करें रोज़ाना एक से दो घंटे ऑनलाइन पढ़ाई करें और जब आप स्कूल जाएंगे तो आपको मज़ीद किसी मदद की ज़रूरत नहीं होगी इस तरह पढ़ाई करके अपना वक्त और वालदे के अखराज में बचत कर सकते हैं ऑनलाइन स्कूल की कोई फ़ीस नहीं है आप जूम पर भी क्लासेस का फ़ायदा उठा सकेंगे हर मजमून की मुकम्मल तलीमी वीडियोज़ मौजूद हैं आउज़बिल्लिशैतम बसमीम Assalam o Alaikum student how are you hopefully you are all doing well and i am your computer teacher uh, today we will discuss computer class 8th and topic is cutting edge technologies so students cutting edge technology is the most advanced computer technology uh, the following are a few cutting edge technologies in the field of networks and communication so there are four main uh, um, cutting edge technologies the first one is cellular communication satellite communication global position positioning system and the last one is bluetooth the first one is cellular communication a uh, cellular communication is a radio communication and it is distributed over a land area called cell each cell is survive uh, served by at least one fixed location trans transfer uh, known as a cell site of base station so students when joined together these cells provide communication coverage over a wide geographic area so student the cellular communication is a radio communication and it you know very well it is a distributed over a land area called cell each cell is very important in the um, communication of cellular so students uh, uh, do you know the first mobile phone was presented presented by dr martin copper of motorola in 1973 Uh, those weight was two kg. So students, this is the main point that the first mobile phone was presented by Dr. Martin Copper of Motorola in nineteen seventy three. The weight was two kg. Ah, uh, and the ah uh, uh, GSM Global System of Mobile Communication is uh, a leading cellular communication. and the students the cellular communication system offers communication services to thousands of cell phone users and figure show uh, 1.13 uh, shows cellular communication so a uh, cellular com communication system is very important and uh, for our system uh, our communication services to provide the thousand of cells of phone users the next one is satellite communication satellite communication is a form of wireless communication that is very important wireless communication in which satellites are the main objects these satellites are commonly called communication satellites and um, communication satellites are ideally placed to provide the telecommunication links between different places across the global so students the satellite communication uh, is a form of wireless communication not wire is a wireless communication in which satellites are the main objects and the uh, satellites are commonly called in uh, communication satellites and communication satellites are ideally placed to provide the telecommunication like between the different uh, places across the global globe between the different uh, location across the globe 
between um, the different um, uh, um, cities uh, city uh, to across the globe so uh, satellite communication is a very important part of the communication system and the uh, satellites enable us to communicate over large distance so students the satellite communications uh, um, cover the large area of uh, um, uh, network uh, and communicate the large distance according to the um, uh, uh, network instructions and in also interaction uh, international phones call providing communication to remote areas of the um, earth uh, provide the different uh, um, uh, satellite communication so students thus these satellites enable use to communicate of our large distance uh, cover the large distances and satellite communication can be used for many application such as international telephones uh, call uh, providing communication to remote areas of the earth and also providing satellite communication to ships uh, uh, aircraft and other mobile vehicles uh, that all are the uh, communication ways of satellites you know very well satellites are wireless communication um, uh, device and the communication cover a large distance um, like uh, different international such as applications are used in international telephones call providing communication to remote areas especially of the earth and also providing the satellites communication to ships all are the mobile vehicles are in connected to the communication satellites so uh, communication satellites are as are easy to install and uh, are very um, uh, effective for the uh, communication networks and the student next one is global posting uh, shining system gps is a global navigation satellite system and this position finding system uh, uses satellites to determine uh, previous location on the uh, surface of the earth and gps can be used to point out any shape or uh, sub uh, to the ocean or the measure of the height of the mount everest it can also be used by armed forces scientists fishermen uh, and hikers and anyone who want the uh, accurate location and time information uh, the pro this um, system provide the accurate time and location and the uh, satellite uh, gp as uh, satellites uh, with uh, targets and gps server, uh, receiver a stolen uh, vehicle has been detected uh, through global uh, global Uh, uh, posting system GPS. So um, GPS all also very important for the communication system. And the next one and last is uh, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth is a wireless technology, the same as it is uh, uh, satellite uh, technology, sat satellite network. Uh, Bluetooth is also wireless technology for exchanging data between different devices over a short distance. so bluetooth bluetooth is a wireless technology for exchanging data for uh, transferring data between different devices and uh, these these cover are the short distances not a uh, large di distances okay it can cannot uh, serve devices to communicate with each other wirelessly network are usually formed temporarily from portable devices such as cellular uh, cellular phones and and old um, computer and laptop uh, bluetooth uh, is um, very important but they cover um, the short distances so students the uh, summary of uh, network and communication is very very important all the uh, uh, points are clear uh, and cover in uh, summary and we will discuss summary a computer network is a, a interconnection of two or more computer system located in a same room a building or a different places so computer network is very important and interconnection with uh, two or more computer system located at the same room at the same building and and, and also at the different places so a, a device which is used to send message data or information to another device connected to a network is called 
uh, sending devices so uh, send and receive the data uh, the information to other devices connected to a network is called a sending devices they uh, receive the data uh, or information to other devices connected to a network is called a receiving data so in a computer network are receiving devices uh, receives messages data information knowledge files folder from a sending device and the next one is communication devices are used for communication between the computer and another devices between the different devices are connected with one another so uh, the modem is a popular communication mo uh, device you know very well modem is very important and which is used for internet communication and the uh, transmission uh, media is the channel is the path through which the data or information which the data or knowledge which the data or files and folder is transferred from one um, place to another place from one location to another location from from um, one town to another town from one person to another person in a computer network with connected uh, internet so networks are connected by wire or wireless transmission medium both so uh, the networks are connected by both wire and wireless transmission medium and the next one is a uh, server is a powerful computer that facilitate the whole network by providing variety of services to the computer or devices connected to the network so students client is also a less powerful computer as compared the service to uh, to service the computer and it relies the on service of resources such as files folder devices and even processing powder uh, power so student uh, and uh, we are discussing the different types of computer network there are main three types of computer network that is called lan wan and man the lan is stand for local area network and it is a network that it, that is confined to a small area to cover a small area and the uh, man stand for metropolitan area network a large computer network which extends to a city or to city one town to town and one place to another place to a metropolitan region is uh, term a uh, metropolitan area network that is called man and the last and one is wide uh, um, wide area network is a very large computer network to uh, connected and to cover the um, city to city to country to country to province to province to state to state uh, state a large ge um, geographical area covered and such as state province country or the whole world that is called worldwide area and the next one is a dial up modem a dial up dial up modem is very important uh, that is modulator uh, demo, demodulator it is the communication devices used to connect to the internet exchange information and to send and receive data from one computer to another computer from one place to another place from one city to another city from one uh, location to another location from one uh, state to another state from one province to another province so dial up modem is also very important communication devices used to connect to the internet in exchange information in exchange data in exchange files folder and knowledge from one um, computer to another computer so the next one is network network interface card that is called nic enables a computer to connect to a network the means through which data is transferred transferred from one place to another is called a transmission or communication media so students very important uh, uh, thing is communication media or uh, transmission media uh, they, they uh, um, perform the different tasks to according to the um, internet instructions and they uh, transfer data uh, transfer knowledge transfer information um, or uh, knowledge information data files folder from another location another location is called transmission media so twisted pair cable are the most popular transmission media for transferring data on a computer network so twisted pair cable is the most important uh, communication network 
and the coaxial cable uh, consists of a center wire surrounded by insulation and a shielded of uh, wire and the fiber optic uses glass or plastic threads of transmission transmit me data and the uh, next one is cellular communication is our radio communication that offer the communication devices communication services to a thousand of cell phone users around the globe around the world and the satellite communication is a form of wireless communication system in which satellites are ideally placed to provide telecommunication link between different places across the globe and these satellites enable us to communicate over a large distance and the next one is student bluetooth is a wireless technology or exchanging data between different devices over short distances and that cover this short distances uh, small uh, same uh, buildings same room and uh, same place the global uh, gps system is a global um, a navigation satellite system and this direction finding system uses satellites to determine uh, location on the surface of the earth these are all the main points of this summary i uh, all the cover all the uh, chapter um, at the end of this uh, chapter so summary is also very important for this chapter because all the um, points are clear and uh, um, uh, important points are clear in this summary so students the next one is lab activities different activities are covered in this chapter lab activity 1 uh, make a short uh, ch make a chart following different types of computer networks and paste it in their computer lab the first one is uh, student make a diff uh, chart that covers uh, and different types of computer networks and paste it uh, in the form of picture in the form of um, um, different uh, uh, computer network pictures you uh, paste it and it in computer lab and then the second uh, activity is observe your school's computer lab and find uh, what type of computer network exists in your lab observe your school computer lab um, and find out the what type of computer lab exists are available in your computer lab and the third lab activity is which transmission media and communication devices are used in your school lab computer network draw their shapes in your notebook uh, which what is the transmission media transmission communication devices and what is the uses of uh, transmission media and communication media in are used in your computer uh, and in your school lab computer network so students draw, draw their shapes in your notebook in your um, book notebook uh, the fourth one is activity observe and find um, the fourth one is uh, observe and find the information how computer and other devices are connected to each other in your school lab so observe and find out the uh, information according to the uh, lab activity number 4 how computers are connected one another and how computer and devices are connected to each other in your school computer lab आज हमने इस चैप्टर को कंप्लीट किया है इसमें डिफरेंट नेटवर्क्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम पड़े हैं कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क्स पड़े हैं अब हम इसको एक समराइज कर लेते हैं ताकि आपको इस पूरे चैप्टर की समरी मिल जाए सो स्टूडेंट्स कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द एंड द एडवांसमेंट इन कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी हैज़ रेवोल्यूशन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ and in earlier days in uh, that uh, we say that uh, in our days data was not shared among different computers or devices now data and information is being shared uh, among computers the sharing of data the sharing of knowledge the sharing of information among, among computer as data communication and this has increased the uses of computers uh, the computer room the data information data communication has enabled us to send and receive the data and information from one computer to another computer from one place to another place from one location to another location
so students sharing of information sharing of data sharing of knowledge sharing of files and folder from one computer to another computer is possible if these computer are connected to the internet to the connected or and link with each other other as a network and we also discussed the different computer networks are used in in this chapter most computer system are now uh, connected together in some ways like uh, from now what is known as uh, network and this range basic schools basic schools home universities uh, and uh, business are on network only a few computer to a large network such as internet so these all are the uh, advanced um, um, in computer networks and there are basic three important computer network that is called lan wan and man lan stand for local area network and it is bigger than lan and it is dra uh, data transmit uh, the man um, um, man stand for metropolitan area and wan for um, uh, worldwide area so metropolitan area area cover a large number of um, uh, network and the uh, lan stand for local area network that is called lan uh, cover the local area network that small area and the wide area network when a co cover a large computer network covering the large geographic areas such as uh, province state country city to city all are cover our whole world so uh, all are the types of computer network and the basic three component uh, types of computer network and also discuss communication de devices uh, are used for communication between the computer and the devices modem is a popular communication devices such as used uh, for internet communication um we also discuss the components of a computer system because you know very well components of a computer system are very important to connect the computer and uh, interconnect with, with the computer system and a computer connect, uh, network consists of the three uh, sorry four basic components the first one is sending device uh, second one is receiving communication devices and transmission medium and the um, more um, a computer network is interconnection of of two or more computer network system uh, are located in the same room building or different places like स्टूडेंट्स आज हमने इस चैप्टर को कंप्लीट कर लिया है इन हम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में नेक्स्ट टॉपिक के साथ दोबारा हाजिर होंगे नेक्स्ट टॉपिक स्टार्ट करेंगे यूनिट नंबर टू स्टार्ट करेंगे नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में तब तक आपने इसको बहुत अच्छी तरह से पढ़ना है इसकी प्रैक्टिस करनी है और नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में इन शेकेंड चैप्टर हम शुरू करेंगे तब तक आपने अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखना है दुआओं में याद रखिएगा अल्लाह हाफिज़